Hi, art teacher here with you again. And uh, today I want to do one since Valentine Day, Valentine's Day is coming up soon. I have a little uh, hand folded envelope, which is just a brief little lesson. That'll be a little paper folding lesson that you and your children will probably enjoy. Uh, be sure to do the uh, subscriptions, likes, favorites, and leave a comment down below if there's anything I'm unclear about, and I'll answer that comment and try to clarify the best I can. Well, let's get right to it. On this one, all you need is a sheet of paper, and as I mentioned, it's nice to have a big 500-pack uh, ream of printer or copier paper around so that your son or daughter can you know, we really feel free to experiment with it and do a, a lot of different things. And this would be one thing they could do. Start off with this size paper and we need to get our square. First of all, we're going for a square. So to get a square, you just fold it over on a diagonal like that. And then you find that corner right there and you need to fold it down from that corner to make sure this side here is flush. So that is not that difficult to do. Make sure that's flush. And that's how you do that. Then crease it good. I like to crease it with my fingernail. Turn it over. Do another crease with the fingernail. And then Oh, a third crease not to really do it. So then you can hand tear it, get that little sort of deckled edge on the side there, uh, which typifies finer papers, but in this case it's just copy paper. Now you take this and simply fold it in half like that. That's all you do. Kaboom, just folded it in half. Then you're going to have to uh, make, take the, maybe the bottom side here and fold it up like that. Not all the way to the middle though. That's what's tricky about it. You don't bring it up to the middle. You bring it about a half an inch to a centimeter right there, about that much short of the middle line. And make sure the sides are flush. And that's what that looks like. You see, it's not going all the way up to the middle. Then, a little diagonal on either side of that. That's not too hard to do. So what I did there is I took this, took these two corners, folded them up like that. And that's what I end up with. Then, I'm going to fold these in. So I have this little line here, and then I'm just gonna fold in that whole side like that. Make sure the top is flush right there. So what I did is just fold that in and do the same over here. Fold this side in as well. And again, make sure that top is nice and flush up on top. So, crease it down a little bit if you want with your fingernails. So, I had it like that, and then I folded those in like that. And then the next step, hmm, well, I'm going to go ahead and fold the whole thing, with the whole thing right in half, and that'll help us. I don't need to crease that though, I just am doing a light fold without a crease. Just a slight crease right there in the middle, see, right there. Then I do what I call a paper airplane fold, where I bring these two corners in like that. So I'll go ahead and do that with a greater amount of accuracy when I put it on the table. Then I'll bring it back up to show you. I brought those down like you would a paper airplane. And from there, you simply take that little paper airplane top and 
Take that little paper airplane top, tuck, tuck that in right there. So you're tucking it in, and you can give it a little crease on the top if you want. So here's what you end up with. There it is. You put your little valentines in there, and your candies, and you close it down like that, and you have a nice little hand folded envelope. Well, that's just a little fun one. I thought I'd do a brief video, kind of make your own little Valentine envelope. And um, yeah, give that one a try. Shouldn't it be that hard to do? And you take care. I hope you're enjoying these videos. Bye.